It's the morning of the Can Yachting Festival. Oh my gosh, there is this big swan. Is that a swan? There's this swan swimming around. It's a little bit drizzly this morning, but hopefully this will just blow over. But we are going to the Can Yachting Festival today. The Can Yachting Festival had hundreds of vessels from monohull sailboats, multi-hull sailboats, and of course, mega yachts. Can Yachting Festival was divided into two parts. On one side, we have the power yachts, and on the other, the sailing yacht. Water taxis easily connected us to whichever side we wanted to go to. And it will probably come as no shock to y'all that we wanted to spend the majority of our time in the sailing yacht section of the festival. As to be expected, there were lots of vendor booths aligning the walkways. There were also a few restaurants and resting areas throughout the festival but of course we were most interested in checking out the sailing yachts that were being showcased for big names in the world of youtube sailing channels at this year's can yachting festival and we were able to meet a couple of them ourselves but we don't want to spoil it for y'all so just stay tuned throughout today's video for all that we have in store for y'all we just made it inside of the can yacht show we're about to get on the water taxi and head over to port Canto, the other side of the yacht show Y'all, if you really want to arrive at the yacht show in style, you can book a quick seven minute flight on a Lux jet turbine powered helicopter from the Nice International Airport and skip the one hour car ride. Y'all, when it comes to cruising, catamarans are famous for their stability and comfort. So Amber and I decided to check out a few at the show. So this is the 42. Everything's here for the autopilot, so if you need to go 10 to the right, 10 to the left, you can mm -hmm. literally sit here on one. And you can open this and look out. Y'all, leopard catamarans are well-built, high-quality cats that were initially designed for the charter market. They became so popular that the South African company expanded into the private market, offering various layouts and semi-custom options. The most popular for private owners is the spacious, comfortable three-cabin owner's layout. They have snaps right there. This has the zipper enclosure, so I'll be like that.
Oh, I like this. This has a front sitting area versus the other one. So I definitely like that better about this one. Oh, for all the fenders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is wild. Probably your anchor. I'm not sure. More storage. Everything. Yeah. Oh, and you've got your seat here. Yeah, just the back. Sunroof. This has a sunroof too, so that's nice. I would have dinner up here every night with you. Wanna go sit inside? Sean just said that this 45 seems massive compared to the 42 that we just walked on and toured and I couldn't agree more. This is definitely a distinct feature that we didn't see on the 42, which is right there. This little area to lounge up front. The table that folds up. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Nav station, fold out table. Looks like that one lifts and drops too. Great big compartment up there. I wonder what you would use that for. Anything storage, sales, shoes, clothes. Say that again. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting, this is a wet head. This is refrigeration. These are all storage. I mean, I wouldn't want to sit here for four hours. You know, you can see everything right here. So basically so. you can do your entire watch inside. Yeah, you could basically be sitting here doing watch. You could have the multi-function display right there and if you control the whole boat from right there. That's pretty cool. That's yeah, a thing. There's a whole panel here. Lots of important things here. Lots and lots of storage. The owner suite. This is a lot of room. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not crawling over you in the V birth to get into bed. Mm hmm. But this is the closet. It opens on this side too. Ooh, lots of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's three big ones. This head is not wet because it has a door that we can close, take a shower. They've got these little countertops. And there's actually a lot of storage in here. You could close this right here, and then there appears to be all sorts of blinds for all the privacy mm -hmm. up here that you could, mm -hmm. yeah, little spices and stuff. Mm -hmm. You've got plugs back here. This is not gimbaled. This is gimbaled right here. See? Mm -hmm. So this one gimbals. Mm -hmm. This one, I guess, doesn't. All right, now we're headed to the Leopard 50. 
So this one has that platform that I didn't see on the others. This one you can sit literally facing. Yeah. Is that your outdoor area? This is a lot bigger. Yeah, this is the owner street, obviously. A lot bigger, a lot more storage. Oh, and there's another mirror right there. Mm -hmm. There's a small one there. There's a mm -hmm. small one there. Mm -hmm. And then a double here. I assume all of this would be storage, yeah. And it looks like all of this is also probably, yep, all of this is storage too. Behind each panel. And there's the helm. Y'all, they even had a gunboat catamaran at the show. Gunboat cats are ultra luxe ultra high performance cats with a matching ultra high price tag. Here we are at the VIP deck at the Cannes Yacht Festival, enjoying a champagne break on this beautiful afternoon here on the Cote du Jour. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. So far, we took a look at the Leopard 42, 45, and the Leopard 50. We're taking a little break. We're going to be going to look at Garcia Exploration 60 monohull. The Leopard obviously was a multi-hull. We're also going to check out Outremer catamarans, and we're also going to check out the Privilege catamarans. Well, that is our plan. Right now, we're just going to get a little refreshment here, take a little 15-minute break, and then continue the tour. That's right. Y'all, the incredible Garcia 60 made its world premiere at the Cannes Yachting Festival, and we got a personalized tour of hull number one. The Garcia 60 Exploration is a super strong all aluminum expedition yacht that is amazingly overbuilt to extreme high quality standards in all areas. The Garcia shipyard in France has a philosophy that says, nowhere you can't go. And y'all, let me tell you, if we had an extra three million laying around, this would indeed be the one to take anywhere around the globe. On Allure, there is uh, the deck in GRP. The deck is in GRP. Okay. GRP. And in this one, it's uh, aluminium. Ah! The white the party in mm -hmm. uh, GRP. Mm -hmm. And that makes a difference in a uh, strong, strong. Yes, strong. yes. Very huge, too. Oh my For gosh! For the sails, sail storage. Around the 
50%. Yeah, half. Oh, half. So half, half. Of that. Okay. Yeah. For Garcia, the chain. The chain for the anchor is on the uh, best point for the stability. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a great uh, quality. We don't have the chains at the front, but right here. Is that for all sizes, 45, 50, and 60? It's two yeah. to three. Same? Between two and three. The door is uh, also a masterpiece for us and it's very, very good uh, yeah, again uh, the cold. Yes, and water, water, water. water. Yes, yes, I can see the Safe, seals. very safe. Yes. I haven't seen a door like that. It's like a bank call. Did you see the shower? Mm -hmm. Towel warmer. So much storage behind here and here. And this is a very, very big shower. Yes. Oh yeah, it's real nice. Oh, I love the windows here. Yeah, it's real nice. That mm -hmm. is an incredible feature. Freezer? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So freezer and maybe I don't know if this is an ice maker or mm -hmm. I think that maybe a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> the sink is all covered up. Nice. Mm -hmm. Storage surrounding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have all the controls, you can see everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's very important on the exploration.
to see everything here mm -hmm. and uh, when you when you stand and mm -hmm. when you sit mm -hmm. I also feel like it's it's open but also there's so much to hold on to if you're out mm -hmm. in the sea mm -hmm. like you're not gonna fly yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he said, now the layout, you got the main cabin up here and two in the back instead of one in the back. Mm. This, I love this size. And the chair comes out nice. Storage, storage, everywhere. An entire laundry room, extra fridge. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. That's probably a washer and dryer combo. Like it switches maybe. Maybe yeah, it says so. wash and dry. Look on the floor. Yeah. yeah. It's a big one too. Yeah, so you wash it. That looks like something, like something in a house. Mm -hmm. Fat cat. No, this is nice. This is really nice. Real nice, Clark. Real nice. Spent. Hot all. Big money. Dell navigation screen. can to be outside or inside and you go fastly to the winch in the last close here with bad weather ah. and you go inside and you can oh, and you have your display up here yeah what's the visibility like standing right there can you see completely out oh, on the port side uh -huh. Open, and more visibility, but turbo. 
Ah, uh, mm -hmm. So when this comes down, you can see a little bit better right there. I always wondered if it would go like way down or not. Mm -hmm. You want to stand on it? Oh, it's not as bouncy as I thought. Okay. This is the Allure's, okay. Y'all, the new Allure 51.9 is designed and constructed in the same French shipyard as Garcia Yachts. The aluminum hulled Allure 51.9 is built for safe, reliable, and comfortable, adventurous offshore cruising. This particular boat was privately owned and the owner requested no filming, so we couldn't bring y'all along on the tour of this one, but trust us, the Allure's 51.9 is one very impressive, luxurious, extremely well-built blue water ocean sailing yacht. Next up, y'all, we headed over to see the stunning Privilege 580 Catamaran. Privilege is a leading builder of extreme, high-quality, luxury, blue water cruising catamarans. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the head. Here we go. Right there. Now oh, that shower cool. is nice. Yeah, it's really nice. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and around the helm stations over here. All right, baby, right now we are on the Privilege 580. 580, we just got to meet Renee and Keith. Oh my gosh, they're so nice and funny. Yeah, that's right. So, what, yeah. it has been such a great day. Yes, we had a really nice visit with Keith and Renee from Sailing Zotari, y'all. Yes, really nice did. folks.
Y'all, just when we thought we had seen it all, we ran across this thing. A dadgum boat with caterpillar tracks so you can skip tying up to the dock and just drive right on up on the beach. This gives new meaning to there's nothing money can't buy. The Can Yachting Festival was by far the best boat show we've ever been to. We hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for coming along with us. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time on Sailing Tellaroo.